Hi everyone, welcome to Efficient and Proficient with me, Kevin Hua. I've got a CWB qualification test here and I'm going to show you how to prep it for bending. What I'll be showing you today is how to get rid of these runoff tabs, find our weld line, trace a few soapstone lines on the back, gouge down to find our parent metal, remove these tacks, and wash this backing plate completely off. I'd like to mention that gouging isn't the only way to process your coupon. For the purpose of this video, we will be gouging. What I've got set up here is a couple of coupons that have been welded out. So I can show you the process properly. When I talk about finding your weld line, this is what I mean. After gouging off your tabs, you can see exactly where your weld is in relation to the backing plate. Those are the lines that we're going to transfer through the coupon and follow when we gouge. Gouging can be an aggressive process. It's very important to remember not to damage your parent metal. If you do not want to gouge into your weld, that will make you fail your test. What I'll do, start on the edge, dig down till I find my weld line. Now I know how deep I have to go. I'll carry that all the way through. Keep in mind, less is more. If you're afraid of gouging into your parent metal, leave a little bit of material off. If you've done it correctly, it should just fall off. If your pieces don't fall off, a quick strike with your chipping hammer from the outside edge should get it to start peeling. Now that I've got the majority of my backing plate gouged off, I need to get rid of this portion that's attached to my weld. If I gouge the rest of my backing plate away, running with the weld, I run a chance of not being able to see my parent metal. There is no weld line to follow. What I like to do is tip my coupon sideways and wash it from the top. You can do this in many ways. You can use a positioning jig or a C-clamp. Just make sure it's steady. And now it's time to grind. I like to bring it to just above flush. You'll notice whatever's been left on will change colors and flake off. It's very important not to grind into your parent metal. You want to bring this thing down to flush. I'm going to switch to a flap disc to finish it out. Now it's time to switch to the other side. You'll notice, because
because all of your welding was on one side, your plate will have some distortion. It's important that your grinder angle be going with the weld so that you do not gouge into your parent metal. With any CWB qualification, it's very important not to over grind. So using the technique of grinding with the weld, once you get to just above flush, you'll notice that your grind marks start to grow away from your weld. That's a great time to switch to the flapper. As per CWB specification, we'll be cutting three test strips out of this coupon. We'll be losing three quarters of an inch off of either edge. We'll be bending two roots and one face. One of those roots includes our stop start. Before I bend my test coupon, I'm going to knock these edges down. So this is the moment of truth. We're going to be bending two roots and one face. Now that we've got our test pieces bent, it's time to examine them. Any indication over 1 8 constitutes a fail. Here I have my root specimen with my tie-in, my face bend, and my other root bend. If you look closely, I have a small indication on my tie-in. I'm going to use a 1 8 rod to cover that. If I don't see the indication past that, it's a pass. Other than that small indication, on my tie-in, the other two coupons are clean. This is a pass. Thanks for watching this gouging video about processing your plate for bending. If you've got any questions, you can look up this S-Class book in the link below.